It's really foggy out this morning. Visibility is close to zero at times right through the metro, back through Carroll, over toward Knoxville and Newton. Take your time as you're heading out. We're not expecting improvements until probably 9 or 10 a.m. That's when the rain will be rolling in. Right now, it's still mainly across Nebraska, down through Kansas, but there is a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for southwest Iowa, including Adair, Creston, and off to the west until 10 a.m. As those stronger storms roll in, they could produce some hail and some gusty winds, and that's been the case here overnight across Nebraska, down through Kansas. Now those strong storms are pushing through Kansas City, all heading in our direction. You can see the dense fog advisory right along I-35 here and across southeast Iowa. That extends into much of Illinois. We've got a lot of moisture in the air. Thunderstorms arrive in western Iowa by 8 a.m., closer toward Des Moines after 9.30, close to 10 a.m. So maybe just missing, missing the first bell there as you drop the kids off for school. By noon, this area of rain shifts east of I-35. We'll still have a lingering shower or two for central Iowa. Then this afternoon by 3 or 4, 4 p.m. That's when we'll have the next round developing. That could be severe east of I-35 near Atumwa, and that will last right through 7 p.m. This evening before all of that heads out. Now we're expecting some locally heavy rainfall too, with the stronger storms. Most of us ending up with a quarter to a half inch of rain, maybe three quarters of an inch for eastern Iowa. The heaviest totals, though, off to the west, right along the Iowa-Nebraska border, where it's been raining already for several hours. The reason for it? Well, we've got the fog developing along the warm front, and the storms developing along the cold front here. The cold front heads to the east. East, and it should be clear of central Iowa by 7 p.m. And once the winds shift back to the northwest, your severe threat will diminish. But we do have a risk for severe storms from Des Moines to the southeast this afternoon, mainly after 3 p.m. when all modes of severe weather will be possible, including hail, wind, even an isolated tornado. Right now in Des Moines, we're waking up to fog, 58 degrees, the dew point running really high, headed for a high today of 68 degrees. Thunder showers rolling through by mid to late morning through noontime, followed by another round this afternoon east of the metro. Tomorrow is looking nice and quiet, a gorgeous looking Thursday, followed by a couple of sprinkles Friday and kind of a chilly weekend, maybe patchy frost early Saturday.